Olavin, another Category 5 headed away from Guam. The West Pacific scores another Category 5 in the form of Balavan, 17.2 degrees north and 144 degrees west, headed away from Guam right now with a wind speed of 160 miles an hour, that's 260 kilometers an hour, a central pressure of 922 millibars, or 27.23 inches of mercury, headed north-northwest at 10 miles an hour, 16 kilometers an hour, 9 knots, like I said, away from Guam. The wind fields of the system, the largest being the southwest at 160 nautical miles, followed by the northwest at 110, uh, the northeast at 115, and the southeast at 120. There are no warnings or watches in effect right now as this system is headed away from land and is not expected to impact any more land areas. Currently, 177 miles away from Saipan, 222 from Rota, and 251 from Guam headed away from those land areas. 547 miles away from Iwo Jima, and 1298 away from Tokyo. I was not expected to impact those land areas, but uh, yeah, as you'll see short, uh, with the cone in just a few short moments, here we go. So as you can see, we're, I'm not sure how up to date this cone is, but this system is expected to eventually curve to the north and then the northeast, becoming a super typhoon as it does so, although it already has attained super typhoon status. Now as it does so, the sea surface temperatures ahead of this system are very favourable for further development or this system could be peaking. I have no idea um, if it is at peak or if it is still intensifying. The storm force winds, like I said, not expected to impact any land areas 34 knot or 64 knot wise. As you can see, just passing uh, the Mariana Islands right now. Same thing with the hurricane force winds as well, the 64 knot winds. Uh, not expected to impact any land areas headed away from the Mariana Islands. Uh, expected to make a gradual curve to the northeast in a few days time. So the multimodal diagnostics once again, uh, they take this system to be quite powerful, even though the system already is very powerful, just attained category 5. Shear remains on the very uh, down low, or there is a model split right about there. Sea surface temperatures the models are in agreement with, which is fine, uh, expected to drop off in a few days as well. So here is the satellite imagery of both visible and infrared and again just look at this very very picturesque system not expected to impact any land areas and as of Force 13's latest estimate has now attained category 5 equivalent intensity.